How did they get away with selling this golf ball for such a little amount of money compared to their competitors? Well, after today's vid, I think I found out how. Now, I've been playing, practicing, and filming with this golf ball from Costco for over a month now. I've also tested the Vice Golf Ball that Costco also sells, and I've also tested it against the Pro V1 out on the golf course. But one question that keeps coming into my mind is how do they sell this golf ball for such a little amount of money? And I think today I finally found the answer when I took my morning trip to Costco, and I'll show you guys at the end Smith Family Household Receipt to see exactly how much I spent because I went in for balls and gloves and came away with quite a lot more and the biggest question these golf balls always get is what is it comparable to what are they better than what are they worse than and the honest answer is it's completely different for every single golfer people that use pro v1s tp5s use them because they love the feel they love the sound and to be honest if they haven't had a ball fitting with that particular ball knowing that full well it works for their wedges irons and drivers then that is somewhat of a questionable decision as there could be cheaper better alternatives in terms terms of spin rate and compression for that actual golf swing. But let's be honest, the real reason that those type of players that use those golf balls and haven't had a ball fitting is because psychologically they like the golf ball at a dress. They like the way it feels, they like the way it sounds and they have full confidence knowing that they themselves have chosen the best golf ball for their game. And if you were to ask me what's going to help a golfer score better, data or pure flat out confidence, I'm going to go with confidence every single time. And that's exactly why these golf balls are in my bag. They give me confidence out on the golf course. I am filming, practicing, and to be perfectly honest, not really worried about how I'm playing as much as the actual video itself. Therefore, having an all-round, pound-for-pound best three-piece urethane golf ball at my disposal and not really worrying too much about where that golf ball goes gives me a lot of confidence to hit the thing. You will be shocked to know how many times I've left a golf ball in a hole after a trick shot just because I'm elated about the trick shot and I want to go home and edit the actual video. I essentially just donate golf balls around this golf course as I am filming and making videos. Therefore, when I lose a pound golf ball on the course, I'm not particularly that worried. However, if I was filming with Pro V1s all the time, I can guarantee it would affect the way I play and the way my swing would actually perform. Not to mention I play on a golf course in England meaning that the course changes week from week. This time last week the green would have been firm and my ball would probably be about two foot away from that pitch mark. We had quite a bit of rain overnight and I've got 15 foot worth of backspin to the hole. My swing, the conditions and my numbers aren't anywhere near as accurate as they used to be when I was playing pretty much full time. Therefore, having an all-round golf ball that's good value for money just makes sense for my golf game. Alongside the Kirkland balls in Costco is the Vice Tour golf ball, which again, I bought a month ago and I've been trying and testing them. And just outright, from the feel of the softness of the cover, that alone, I'm gonna want to play with it because it just suits my eye. The shade of white's brighter, again, I like it. And the more I look at it, the more it resembles an old school Pro V1. I'm right down to the detailing of the words. There's a reason, obviously, I'm so attached to the peel and look of the Kirkland. Even the alignment side of it, as you turn them side by side, again, you can see the similarity. So there's no wonder a lot of players have always played as a Pro V1 and kind of just want a more affordable option, gravitate towards the Kirkland device. I'm not saying it's a bad ball and potentially does exactly the same numbers in terms of launch, spin, X, Y, and Z. But just from aesthetics and feel alone, no wonder I like this one more. However, there's a big difference between Costco's Kirkland Signature range and all the other golf ball manufacturers such as TaylorMade, Titler, Strixon, Vice for example. And that's those companies actually have to make a profit. Whereas the Kirkland Signature range's goal isn't necessarily profit margin. Now, if you're a frequent Costco buyer, you know full well that Costco itself has some extremely good value products and then quite a lot of stuff that is exactly the same price as every other supermarket. And as you can see here, we went for some golf gloves, we went for the trousers that you see there, £9.97, extremely good value. And pretty much all the Kirkland signature stuff, kids love the Carbonara from there and again, it's really good value in terms of the quality of product. But you can see there's a lot of stuff that I also bought that we just needed for the house. For example, example toilet paper coke chicken gyozas which is an absolute cheat code for two parents with two young children and haven't got anything in for tea and need something out the freezer quick my point being is that costco doesn't need to profit a lot 
on their golf balls. It's absolute ingenious method of marketing. As golf balls are perishable, we're going to lose them. We're going to break them. Even if you kept one of these and you got three, four rounds out of it, you're probably going to have to swap it out for another one as it's been chewed out of the bunker, hit a few trees, cart path, you name it. And as I looked around Costco today, there's so many products in there that just have essentials. That's extremely good value. So for people like myself and you that go in for one or two particular items that you need for the household, such as toilet paper, you end up buying other stuff. It isn't necessarily essential, but it saves you a trip to another shop altogether. If you're a player that just chooses their golf balls on looks, feel and price without going getting a ball fitting as that's the only real way you'll know what ball performs best for you. For me, this golf ball is pound for pound the best ball on the market for the average golfer because the main purpose of this golf ball isn't to actually make a profit. If you like this video, leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later.